Hi friends golfers, Eric Silver, EJS Golf. Do you have trouble chipping? Do you catch some thin and they go racing over the over the green? Do you catch them thin and they just pop up? And here's another one, where I should just said fat, you catch them just fat, you're right behind it. And here's the other one, do you catch it where sometimes you have a lot of spin on it, it hits it, it spins, and then the other time it just runs, runs, runs? Well, why is that? So the problem is, for some, most people, most amateurs I see this, is very rare, I see them do it the right way, is they're not getting any angle of attack down meaning their low point is basically at the ball or behind it, okay? It's behind it, the club is coming up into it, and you're nailing it. So too much of the thought of this is the mind telling us or people have told you to like slide this under the ball. That's not what we're trying to do. Because we're trying to, if we're trying to hit the ball first, is that a great thought of what we're trying to do, especially when we're trying to hit down on it, you know, five, six, seven degrees, eight, nine, 10, depending on who you are and what level you are. If we're trying to create that downward angle, um, but we need to make sure we are in front of the ball. It's the only way you can do it. So that's that's what's called moving the low point forward. So I'm gonna have to actually move my body a little bit forward. And what happens is I get predictable spin. I had a very short shot here, maybe what, 25 yards or so, and pretty good spin. I mean, it only ran a few feet, right? Um, typically when I'll see golfers from this angle, when I start helping them, is they run it from the beginning of the green all the way off the end, because they're hitting behind it and it hits and runs. They're, they're short a lot, or they skull it right over the green. So if we gotta get down, this attack angle down, do you have to have a, a trackman launch monitor like I have or something? No, you don't. You need to just get your low point in front. And how do you do that? How do you know if your low point's in front? So if I'm trying to go this way, I would want, see how I hit up here? So if I go to hit the ball and I'm up here, that's my low points in front. So the only way for me to get there is to have this negative attack angle, okay? So anybody can check it. You don't have to have, you know, launch monitor to know. Now you may not know exactly how many degrees, but that's fine. We don't need to be exact with it. You know, that one I want to go a little higher. So it's just, there's a lot of different opportunities we can have. Once we nail this technique down, we have a lot of different options we can play. And if I want to go high, all I'm going to do is move it up in my stance a little bit. Even if I had to go really high, then I would open the face a little bit. I don't need to do it a ton, but my stock shot is middle. I'm never going back in my back foot unless I'm in some kind of crevice or something. Let's say it's like, let's say it's kind of like this down. Okay, you see how much that is down below the ground? I would go in the back and I would do some kind of shot like this where I chop down on it and I would hit the ball like that. I mean, not like that, but I would hit down on it so therefore it would pop up, okay? So let's try, let's try this right here. Kind of, let me find a spot that's kind of down. Okay, so that's down the ground. You know, I can't I can't use my normal technique. Yeah. But you see the height I got on that thing? Look at that thing stop too. Why? I hit the ball first. So that thing was hit, sitting down in the crevice. People would say, oh, there's no way you can hit that, right? You can't get you can't get your club slid beneath that ball. No, you can't. But you can hit the ball first, hit the height I got, and let it roll. Mm -hmm. Five feet. That's all that rolled from there, okay? And that's without a lot of swing speed, okay? So, folks, get your low point in front of the ball, which is your attack angle down, and you'll start to spin it. And once we know how to spin it and do that every time, we become a really good chipper or pitcher of the ball because we'll know how much the ball is gonna run off when we hit the green. The problem with most amateurs, as I say, is if it, if it spins one time, they're dead because they're playing on the run out. So we need to make sure we get it the same every time so we can make sure we are also able to predict where this ball is gonna end up. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave something in the comments. Um, love to see you subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna follow this thing up with something which is a little different and it's gonna be if you want to make sure you create that ultra spinner, okay? That one you see Rory hit from like 40 yards, 40 yards out. You see JT hit it, that one hop, boom, boom, shuffle on back. We're gonna go over that, that is next video, okay? We gotta learn this technique first or we can't get to that one. So look for that one next, and I look forward to talking to you. Take care. Bye.